What if I told you that with just your name, I could find out where you live, what you bought last week, and even what you searched for late last night? It's scary how easy it is to track everything you do online. Most people click accept on cookies and share their location without a second thought, having no idea how much of their private life is being sold. It's like walking around with a giant sign listing all your secrets, and you don't even know it's there. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. Please use this knowledge responsibly to protect your own privacy. Now let's get into how you can become a digital ghost and disappear from the internet's prying eyes. I've consulted with cybersecurity experts to bring you the 10 most powerful ways to stay anonymous online. Pay close attention. Some of these tips could literally save you from getting hacked or having your identity stolen. First up, you need a VPN, no exceptions. A VPN or virtual private network is like an invisibility cloak for your internet connection. Normally, your online activity is wide open for your internet provider, advertisers, and even hackers to see. A VPN encrypts all your traffic, scrambling your data so no one can read it. It also hides your real IP address, making it look like you're browsing from anywhere in the world. This makes you a ghost to trackers trying to pinpoint your location. It stops your ISP from logging your every move and selling that data. It blocks websites from tracking your location for targeted ads or worse. Your first and most important line of defense is a reputable VPN with a strict no-logs policy. We're not sponsored. Do your own research, but don't skip this step. If you do nothing else from this video, get a VPN. It's the ultimate first step to taking back your online privacy. Don't just think about it, actually do it. If a VPN is an invisibility cloak, then Tor browser is like entering witness protection. Tor, or the Onion Router, is a free browser that makes you almost untraceable. It bounces your data through multiple servers worldwide, each layer encrypted separately. No single point knows both where you are and where you're going. This multi-layer encryption makes it nearly impossible to trace your activity. The trade-off? Tor is slower, but for true anonymity, nothing beats it. For ultimate privacy, some experts use a VPN and then connect to Tor, called Tor over VPN. Even your internet provider can't see you're using Tor. It might be overkill for most, but if you want to be truly untraceable, this is how you do it. Tor is free, open source, and trusted by journalists and activists worldwide. Use it for sensitive browsing where privacy is your top priority. Become a true digital ghost. Your text messages aren't as private as you think. Standard SMS isn't encrypted. Your provider can see them, and many messaging apps collect metadata. Switch to secure messaging apps like Signal or Telegram. These use end-to-end -end encryption, so only you and the recipient can read your messages. Not even the app creators can access your conversations. Signal is open source and collects almost no metadata. Telegram offers self-destructing messages and secret chats. Convince your friends and family to switch too. The more people use encrypted communication, the safer everyone is. Don't hand your private conversations to companies or hackers. Lock them down with secure apps. Make encrypted messaging your default. Protect your secrets. Free public Wi-Fi feels like a gift, but it's actually a huge risk these networks are often unsecured, making it easy for hackers to intercept your data. A hacker nearby can see everything you do, passwords, emails, even credit card info. Some hackers set up fake Wi-Fi hotspots to trick you into connecting directly to them. Once connected, they can steal your data or install malware without you knowing. Using public Wi-Fi is like playing Russian roulette with your digital life. The solution? Don't use it. Use your phone's cellular data instead. If you absolutely must use public Wi-Fi, Always use a VPN to encrypt your connection. A VPN creates a secure tunnel, even on unsecured networks. Don't risk your privacy for a few minutes of free internet. Stay invisible to hackers. Protect your data. Every Google search feeds your personal data profile. Google tracks every search, linking it to your account and building a detailed profile to sell you things. This data can be requested by governments or stolen in a breach. Your entire thought history is stored on a server, waiting to be exposed. The solution? Use anonymous search engines like DuckDuckGo or StartPage. DuckDuckGo doesn't track you or store your search history. StartPage gives you Google results without the tracking. Switching is easy. Set one as your default search engine. Stop volunteering your every thought to a data-hungry corporation. Search in private and break out of the filter bubble. It's a simple change with a massive impact on your privacy. Take control of your searches, reclaim your digital life. Your smartphone is a tracking device you carry everywhere. Almost every app wants your precise location, and we often grant permission without thinking. 
This data builds a detailed map of your life, where you live, work, shop, and more. It's collected and sold by data brokers, often without your knowledge. The solution turn off location services for most apps. Go into your phone settings and review which apps have access. Only allow location for apps that truly need it, like maps or ride sharing. Be ruthless, most apps don't need your location at all. Taking control of your location data is critical for privacy. Stop letting your phone broadcast your every move. Every time you sign up for a new site, don't use your primary email. Your main email is the key to your digital life. Don't hand it out freely. Use burner emails, temporary addresses from services like TempMail or 10-Minute Mail. Sign up, confirm, and forget about it. If the site gets hacked, your real email stays safe. For more control, use services like Anonaddy or Simple Login to create aliases that forward to your inbox. If an alias gets spammed, just turn it off. Compartmentalize your digital life and protect your core identity. Burner emails are a game changer for privacy. Make it a habit for every new sign-up. Keep your real inbox clean and secure. Every website you visit leaves tracking cookies and cached files on your device. These build a detailed profile of your browsing habits for advertisers and data brokers. Regularly clear your cookies and cache in your browser settings. Do it at least once a week or after every session for serious privacy. Most browsers like Firefox and Brave can clear cookies automatically when you close them. This wipes the slate clean and prevents long-term tracking. You'll have to log in more often, but it's worth it for your privacy. Don't let companies follow you across the web. Practice good digital hygiene. Erase your digital footprints. Oversharing on social media is a goldmine for identity thieves and data miners. Security questions for your accounts, like your first pet or hometown, are often answered in your posts. Posting vacation photos or expensive purchases can make you a target for theft. Treat social media like a public billboard, not a private diary. Before posting, ask, could this be used against me? Delete old revealing posts and lock down your privacy settings. Make your profiles private and share personal info only with trusted people. Be vague about locations and details. Your online safety depends on what you choose to share. Passwords are the final boss of online security, and most people are terrible at them. Reusing passwords is the single most dangerous thing you can do online. If one site gets hacked, hackers try that password everywhere, called a credential stuffing attack. The solution. Use a strong, unique password for every account. A strong password is long, random, and impossible to guess. Don't try to remember them all. Use a password manager like Bitwarden, 1Password, or LastPass. A password manager creates, stores, and fills in complex passwords for you. You only need to remember one strong master password. It's the best way to stay secure and convenient. Stop reusing passwords today. Change your key passwords and use a manager for everything else. Never worry about credential stuffing again. There you have it. 10 secret ways to take back your privacy and become a ghost online. If you implement even half of these tips, you'll be more secure than 99% of people on the internet. The online world can be dangerous, but you have the power to protect yourself. Your privacy is worth fighting for. It's not about hiding, it's about protecting what matters. Stay vigilant, make these habits routine, and thank yourself later. For more tips, hit subscribe and stay safe out there.